Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram. I have a six month old George who is currently making some crazy ass noises on the floor. But today we filmed a day in the life of vlog with me and him. So it takes you literally from the moment I woke up all the way until <coughs> bath and bedtime. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you like these kind of vlogs because I really enjoy filming them and I'd just like to know if you guys are interested in them um but yeah for now let's get into the vlog and i will catch up with you a bit later bye so today is friday and the day started at about seven o'clock today which is very average for George I have to say and my partner has recently started getting up with George so he's actually got George up out of bed changed his nappy and he's giving him his first bottle whilst I get the chance to go and get ready um, I normally get up and get ready have a shower and everything and then by the time I go downstairs for breakfast I'm all ready and I don't have to do that during George's first nap it's something that started working really really well for us um, and then obviously when I go downstairs my partner will come up and get ready and then he'll go off to work but it's just been so nice to actually start the day at a decent time and get ready instead of having to wait until George's first nap to do anything for myself so it's something that's worked really really well for us recently I do also really like to make the bed first thing in the morning nothing fancy nothing Instagrammable I just like to air the sheets out a bit and it kind of makes me feel like when I walk into the room again at some point during the day or later this evening it will just be nice and ready and then obviously just getting dressed I am always in your bog standard black leggings and a black top recently um, and a cardi if it's a little bit cooler so you see that George has joined me in my bedroom now so it is my turn to take over from my partner and I love it I love seeing George first in the morning especially Especially when I'm nice and ready it just makes me feel so much better about the day so yeah we're heading downstairs now and we're gonna go and make George some breakfast I like to just pop George into his high chair when I'm making his breakfast and today we're just gonna do a really really easy mama made freezer porridge for baby weaning oh my god it's so easy you literally just add some water pop it in the microwave and then it's done so so easy it's actually a really big portion so i do end up splitting this halfway through but i'm just gonna make myself some porridge as well and then pop some banana in to both of ours so that we both have pretty much the same meal i'm just cutting george's up a little bit smaller just so it's really easy for him to swallow and everything he's normally quite good but it's just making life easy for him so that is his mine and then that's the leftovers i'm gonna do something with a little bit later I've actually just popped George into his mama's and papa's activity tray centre thing just because his porridge is a little bit too hot for him at the moment. I obviously want mine quite hot so I'm going to start my meal quickly without him but the activity centre tray thing keeps him entertained whilst I'm having the first few bites of mine and then once his is cooled down to baby temperature I can give him his as well which is really really fun. I love feeding George so much. He likes feeding himself, he likes using the spoon himself. I'm not too precious about whether there's going to be mess. Um, I should probably move my phone from there because there will definitely be mess later but yeah we kind of just go a bit of a mixture he takes a spoon sometimes sometimes I feed him depends on his mood I guess but I tell you one thing when it comes to weaning these bib aprons that I've got at the moment the one that George has got on at the moment it's just a little dinosaur one it is literally the best thing we could have ever purchased it's so gorgeous and it obviously keeps his most of his skin and obviously most of his clothes and everything are really clean so yeah there's definitely mess but it's actually not anywhere near as bad as I thought it would be because of those bips. After a really quick clear up with just a couple of baby wipes, I think that's pretty much all this one took. A couple of baby wipes over the bib as well, I'll just hang that up on the back of the chair so it's dry for later. And then it's time for George and I to go have a bit of playtime before his first nap of the day. So we'll go into the living room now and start our little playtime. I honestly can't believe how well George is sitting up now. It's so, so lovely to see. He does tumble. In a second, you'll see that he does tumble still every now and then. But the really good thing about this playmat that he's on at the moment is the totter and tumble playmat. 
I absolutely love them, one, because they look absolutely gorgeous, but two, they're so soft and the quality of them is so high that actually when he tumbles over, even if he face plants, he is never ever cried when he falls, which is amazing. So he doesn't even hurt himself when he falls over, which I absolutely love. It's about quarter past nine now, so it's time for George's first nap. So he's been up for two hours and 15 minutes, which is stretching his awake windows a little bit. Now he's six months old. So I'm popping him in his crib, just in his vest and his sleeping bag as well. No white noise, but Ewan is still there, just in case we need it sometimes. Um, and then I just turn the lights out. The blackout blind, it works dream, so that room is literally pitch black. This used to be my time where I'd go and get ready, but now that I'm already ready in the mornings, I actually crack on with some of the jobs around the house, which makes me feel a lot better, like I'm on top of things. So I'm obviously putting the washing away, tidying up the living room, that wasn't even that dirty in the first place, but I wanted to do a quick transition for you. Um, then I go into the kitchen, tidying up everything in there, pop everything in the dishwasher, pop the dishwasher on, tidy up from breakfast, do George's bottles, etc, etc. Girl, you know what I'm talking about if you're a mum, it's just never ending. If you guys remember the leftover porridge from earlier, I'm actually just gonna pop those into the oven just to make some porridge bars. As I got them out of the oven, this is me getting them out of the oven, George literally woke up that second, so I'm gonna go and get him, and then we'll carry on with the bars after I've given him his bottle and all that other good stuff. George has had a good hour's sleep, which is really nice because he wakes up so happy, which I absolutely love. I know he's had a good sleep when he wakes up all smiley. Then I'm just going to change his nappy. He's getting a little bit difficult with nappy changes now because he is really wriggly. He's on the move. He's trying to do things. He doesn't want me to move him, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it is a little bit tricky, but I always put a nappy underneath him before I change his nappy. I do always just find that that's the easiest way to do nappy changes. I always have done that since he was little, but even now it's a lot easier. Then just pop in my little baby nappy parcel into the nappy bin and he's all dressed ready to go downstairs yet again. George was a little bit grisly when I brought him downstairs. I don't think he wanted me to leave him. So I obviously had to go and make him a bottle and he was being really grisly in the kitchen. So I just popped him in his mama's and papa's chair just to watch a little bit of telly to distract him for five seconds. Sometimes it's needed guys. And I went to make him his a bottle with the Tommy Tippy prep machine and the cow and gig milk that we always, always use. We're still giving George four bottles a day and we've actually just gone down from eight ounces to seven ounces just because I think the eight ounces was just too much for him. He was never finishing it so we're just giving him seven ounces again and he seems totally fine, hasn't affected his sleep or anything like that. George is so much happier giving himself the bottle, either with a bit of a muslin propped underneath it or just normally he just holds it himself. If he's being a bit lazy, then he just uses the muslin to support it. But he hates it when I try and give him the bottle now. Like he fusses so much. So he's so much happier feeding himself. And when he's finished, he loves to just chuck it on the floor. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> Now that he's nice and happy because he's had his bottle, I'm just going to pop him back in his high chair thing and we're going to try and make those porridge bars for his breakfast tomorrow. So all it literally will be is me taking the porridge, the baked porridge out of the 
baking pan thing and then cutting them into slices but and then putting them in the fridge to cool down I think that's perfect George will really really enjoy these and then as it's coming up to lunchtime I'm going to take out some baby food that I made earlier in the week and I'm going to pop that into a bowl for George and then make sure it's all microwaved and everything and then let it cool down for a little bit before I actually give it to him so that it's like at a nice temperature. I don't want it too cold like it's come out of the fridge but I also don't want it really hot so yeah this is just cauliflower cheese by the way pureed up it's so tasty I actually tasted some myself and it was so nice and then just for a little bit of variety I'm just going to chop up some cherry tomatoes and I'm going to chop them lengthways into eighths so it's really easy for George to swallow them it makes me far less nervous having them really really small bits than giving him big chunks of things but he can still hold these with his hand which is perfect. I'm having leftovers from yesterday and this is the Pinch of Nom Diet Coke Chicken. Guys, it is the nicest dinner you'll ever taste and it's so healthy and it doesn't even taste healthy which is so nice. Of course this is a Friday, my partner gets back from work at about 12 so we all have lunch together which is honestly one of my favourite times of the week, a Friday afternoon where we feed George together at lunchtime, have a really nice chat, catch up over the week and then yeah it's just a really nice start to the weekend. So after lunch, I just like to tidy up. My partner does offer to tidy, but I just know that it's gonna be nowhere near as tidy as when I do it. So he just takes George into the living room whilst I do a quick wipe down of the table and make sure the floor's all clean. The dog normally takes care of that, I'm not gonna lie. Then I just pop into the living room and have a little sit down with George just while his food goes down. My partner's just getting changed from work and having a shower and everything, cause he's had a very, you know, manual day. So me and George just chill out in the living room whilst his Food's going down and then he will be going up for his second nap of the day. So George has been up for about two and a half hours so I think he's ready for his nap and I'm just going to turn all the lights out, black out, blind it and then make sure the room is pitch black and hopefully he'll have a couple of hours sleep and I will have the chance to go out to the post office because I've been meaning to do this all week and I haven't actually had the chance so George will be in the capable hands of his dad whilst I pop out. I actually just got back and I went to check on George because I couldn't help myself and he's sound asleep, bless his heart, so I'm going to leave him be and then crack on. I'm going to actually get changed because it got a little bit hot this afternoon, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to put a new shirt on, do a couple of Instagram stories for a couple of things that I've been gifted, which I love doing, and then I'm just going to crack on and do some editing as well with a cup of coffee just because I've got loads of stuff to do and this is George's big long nap in the afternoon, which is the time of day that I actually am able to get a few things done. On Friday I was just going through one of my videos and noting down everything that I mentioned in it so that I could link products in the description box for you guys just so it's nice and easy. I spent about 45 minutes doing that and then actually George woke up pretty much as soon as I'd finished editing so that's perfect. He's had about two hours sleep so I'm just going to go and get him up now. While I remember, I'm going to put George's clothes away from earlier. I remember I took down the washing, but I couldn't put George's clothes away because he was napping. So I'm going to fold his clothes up and just pop those in his drawer. Literally, this is all we have for George's stuff. Like, his clothes just fit into this drawer. We don't have anything in the wardrobe, really. So I'll show you in it in just a minute. I always get questions about these leather look handles on the drawers, and they're from Ikea. We just use these IKEA drawer dividers to divide up the drawers and this is just like your classic Malm drawers. We've just got his nappies and stuff at the top, his three to six month clothes that he absolutely does not fit in anymore in this drawer and then his six to nine month clothes which is the ones that he's actually wearing and at the bottom it's just things like swaddles, blankets, muslins, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
back into the high chair whilst I make his bottle. He can see me from that high chair, so he much prefers this. Sometimes we have it in the living room, sometimes in the kitchen. I just like to switch it up so he's not in the same room all day, every day. But yeah, he's just having his bottle now. Again, he's quite good at just holding it himself, so he likes to just hold that on the handles. These bottle handles from Mam are so so good. He does hold them, in this he wasn't really holding them that well, but he was really really good at holding them usually. As soon as I went anywhere near George, I realised that he absolutely needed his nappy changing, so back upstairs for another nappy change. I tend to do number twos on the floor just because George is a little bit more wriggly and it's obviously a little bit more time consuming. I do also get about five or six wipes out of the packet preemptively because I know I'm going to use them and it's just easier than trying to fiddle with like unhygienic hands. Getting wipes out of the packet is just not cute so yeah I tend to just do that that's kind of my method and then I'll pop his nappy into a nappy bag and then pop that into the nappy bin as well my partner's still out getting the click and collect food shop so that actually takes quite a long time to get there and back and get it all sorted so he's out doing that and I'm going to take Molly and George out so we're going to pop outside for a little walk it's made so much easier by this Ergo Baby Carrier and my amazing Wombat & Co Wallaby coat they are my absolute go-to's I just absolutely love these I'll link them all down below everything that I mentioned but this I swear to god especially if you've got a dog is the best thing ever but it just makes hands-free baby walks the most enjoyable thing ever I absolutely love it they're also doing a summer version of the coat so it's a lot more lightweight and not as thick but obviously in summer it does still rain sometimes and I'm definitely going to be getting one of those because it has just been the best I, honestly it's just the best invention of all time Once we're back from a walk, I'm just entertaining George with some ribbon tied to a wooden spoon. Yes, that is exactly what he's entertained with and it actually really works. George doesn't have that many toys and until now, I haven't really felt the need to get him many, but I have actually ordered a few. But George did start to get a little bit tired at this point and listen to this noise he makes before he gets tired. <coughs> So that noise usually means he is ready for nap number three or any nap generally. I'm going to take his trousers off and not put him in his sleeping bag because he's getting a little bit hot. So I'm just going to pop him down in just his vest and then go and catch up with my partner. But hopefully George will be down for at least half an hour. We can start some dinner and then bring him down for his last bottle of the day. His nap didn't actually last that long. I think in total we had about 20 minutes, which is absolutely fine. He had a lot of sleep in his other naps, but he's ready to get up. I think he was a little bit too hot, so I'm gonna take him out of his vest and bring him downstairs in just his nappy so he can chill with us and then he can go to sleep a little bit earlier tonight, I think. So tonight George is having his last bottle of the day whilst we have our dinner and we actually have, because it's a Friday, we always do like a special meal on a Friday and we're having burgers. I'm having no buns, Ashley's having buns and I'm having a bit of salad and stuff but my partner is such a good cook, he does it all from scratch so I cannot complain at all. Then it is bath time for George so I'm just waiting for the bath to run and I've got everything ready for after he gets out. So George's bath is now ready and we're going to go and give him a bath and then I'm going to put him straight to bed. It's coming up to 7 o'clock so he'll go straight down and he is definitely one tired boy. So I'm just going to clean him and then pop him in his baby grow, pop him straight down to bed. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog here so I hope you really enjoyed this day in the life. It's the first day in the life, like the entire day that I filmed all in one go since he was a newborn. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you like Day in the Life because I do really enjoy filming them. But yeah, for now, I will see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. So, oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken